Okay, I pretty much confirmed it. Joey has been using his disability to pay less child support and he's back at work. With all the ways people track things nowadays, with all the technology that we have, how did his brain figure out how to double dip like that? How did he pull that off? He never told family court when he went back to work and he never told the disability office that he went back to work. So he's probably been collecting double. The family court guy the other day, he brought it up. So how did they not know? Yeah, it was because of him that I found out. He was the one that somehow figured it out. Someone, I guess, snitched on him at work. Oh, well, that's BS. So what happens now? How do you get your money? Because you're entitled to that money. I don't know. Do I just... I was kind of thinking of, like, cursing Joey out. No, Miranda. I know that's your instinct, and that's how you've always done it in the past. No more communication. Plus, it's got the restraining order. You can't call him. Just let them handle it. I know it's less money until they figure it out, but just let them figure it out. Yeah, that's what I figured. I'm just, like, angry about it, because he's just trying to get over on me again, just in a different way. He always finds a way to get over on me. Miranda. If you don't mind me asking, how much was he paying you even while on disability? Instead of 500, it was 250. So ever since it's disability, I've been getting 250 every Friday. But still, you know, he should be paying me the full amount they told him to pay. 250 is 250. What did my ex-wife complain or something? I don't get what the big deal is when she's still making a pretty penny off of my child support even when I'm on disability, so what is it, what does it matter to anyone really? I'm not exaggerating when I say this to you, and I'm saying this as a warning here, because this could get serious for you. Collecting disability while you're working is illegal. Falsifying information to family court in regards to your child support and financial earnings and everything in that category is illegal. Well, I didn't know that. I've never been on disability before. I've never used that stuff. Even when my wife gave birth, I didn't take paternity leave or anything like that. I've always worked. So I don't know the rules and stuff like that. I honestly thought that my job is supposed to tell the disability people, hey, he's back. I didn't know it was my, my thing. And when, um, when I got the extra money, I was like, oh, I guess they're just paying me a little extra until they cut me off. Okay, well, I'm making it clear right now, and I'm going to document this, and maybe you should document it as well. You have to tell disability when you are back at work. You have to tell us when your earnings change, whether that be a new, a new job, um, some lottery payments, or not being on disability anymore because that directly affects your ex-wife's child support payments. Does that make sense? Well, that's ridiculous. Like, I got stabbed in the, in the shoulder neck area, and then I've been suffering for weeks in pain and this and that. And all people care about is me telling them disability, my job, and family court, that my financial situation is this or that. It's not fair that when, when I get a penny more or a penny less, I have to tell everyone, including the Pope. But then when my wife gets a promotion, when she makes more money and needs less child support from me, she gets to zip her lips and not tell a single soul. That's not fair, man. It's like everyone just beating me down every day. You know what I want to do? I want to restructure the child support payments every week because I can't afford this anymore. I want to talk to whoever I need to talk to because I read somewhere, if your financial situation changes, you can restructure the child support. That's what I want to do. I can get you the paperwork to restructure your um, child support. You have a valid claim here in what you're saying. Completely understand, but I need to know if you're being serious or not, because every time we interact, you do talk in hyperbole, and you do make a lot of threats. So it's just one of those serious moments. In 100% serious, I'm not talking in hyperbole or nothing. Okay, my, my girlfriend is missing. I'm, I'm grieving in a way, because, hoping that she's alive, and, and I'm suffering in that way. I'm suffering from the pain in my neck after being stabbed. I shouldn't have gone back to work, but I tried to do it so that my ex-wife could get her child support. And um, I, I think I need to not be at work anymore. That's what, but, but more importantly, I need the, the child support payments changed and I need you to leave because now I'm getting stressed.